So I'm going to start off with the, the Firefox version of Firebug, which was the, uh, the first, that's the main version. So you're going to get in Firefox here, and if you don't have it yet, you got to get it by going under the Tools menu, go to Add-ons, and you're going to make sure you're in the Get Add-on section. Uh, you might end up in Themes or somewhere. Make sure you click on Get Add-ons, and type in Firebug. Hit Enter. Uh, now, I already have Firebug installed, so it's not going to show me something I already have installed. So, But your top hit, if you don't have it, should be Firebug. Um, if I go click uh, see all results, it's going to pop up a uh, Firebug for me. Now, you would, you would then add it to Firefox. You'll get a window like this. So I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. But um, go ahead and click install, and then um, you'll need to restart the browser to, uh, to get it popping off there. Anyway, so once you got it installed, um, here's my site. You're going to need to um, go down to the bottom right and the firebug button will now be down there looks like a cockroach or something anyway click on that you're gonna get this uh, split window at the bottom and honestly I don't change this um, you can if you want to you can just click over to the CSS or, or whatever I really don't change any of the default options there's a couple of options here under HTML you can show the uh, the the file as it was written with all the white space returns and everything I don't need to do all that I really don't change any of the options I'm, I'm set. So you can see how the screen is flashing. Whenever you mouse over an element in your file here, it's going to highlight that element for you. Just let you know where that is in the on the page, which is very cool. Um, what I like to do, I'll click on this button here next to the bug, which is uh, the inspect button. And now when I go up here into the page, I can just go ahead and um, click on that and it's going to jump to that section in the code for me, which is very cool. Um, let's get all the way back here. Here's my header. Um, so once I click on an element here, over on the right in the CSS, I'm going to be seeing the uh, code for that particular element. So here's the header, ID, header, the pound sign, of course. Uh, for those who don't know CSS, that's the, the uh, marker for, for ID in the CSS file. So that's the header. It's showing me the image. It's showing me what uh, you know styles are for that element. Very cool. You know, I can play around here with this if I want to. Um, let's go somewhere. Let me just click on one of these images here. So I can actually change um, the values here. So you know, if I wanted a border, you know, of ten pixels, I can add that, and you can see everything's moving apart there because um, the border's getting bigger. I'll change that to red. I look at those borders. I can just play around and see how things work. What's the best way to uh, proceed? You know, I can see right away what the changes will look like. Now, if I want to add a rule, I just hit the return key. And let me just add in something with, let's say, uh, 200. And it did it for me. It's shown me what it looks like. So that's really cool. I can delete out of this and and uh, get rid of that rule. But the thing is, it's not really changing that um, for real. You're just seeing it on your page. You can go to someone else's site, play around with their site if you want. It doesn't change it for real because Firebug doesn't have access to your uh, to your site on your server. Um, as far as I know, you know, if it does, that would be great. But um, Instead, you have to, you can play around, but you have to go and make those changes eventually. Now, what I like to do is, um, uh, instead of doing it right in my, uh, in my browser, like if I go to Safari and I log in, sometimes I know people go in their WordPress and they go into the appearance and they go to editor and they'll go and they'll just, uh, edit their file right there, which is fine in a pinch. If I need to quick edit something, I can log in and just find it and, and, edit it but I don't prefer to work this way what I do is I use a, a program called text wrangler which is a, you know a dedicated text editor and I log into my server I'm working right off my server and I'll go in here and I will change it right here go back to and then go back to Firefox and see the result of that uh, the key to that is here where it's telling me this is the file that this is in and you see the path to the file which is very cool 
And it's telling me even the line number. Now that's golden right there. I go back in Text Wrangler, and I can then go, hey, take me to line 880, which is actually under the search go to line. And I'm right there. That's awesome. Now I can even make, uh, let's, let's say if I want to always be able to get back to this small article, I'll cut that for now. I can go here and make a marker. Set that marker and go all the way back up to the top and say, I want to go back to small article. Takes me right back there. Now, um, that is kind of why I only use Firebug in Firefox. Now, if I go to Safari, there's Firebug Lite for Safari. Click on that, and I got my window, it's a familiar window. Click on Inspect. Let's say I click on this header here. It's telling me the style, but it's not telling me the line number. You know, here I've got my line number in Firefox, but in Safari, no line number. So, it does help me, but it doesn't let me just jump right to that line that I'm gonna need to uh, to modify so I, I don't use that um, also the same thing with Chrome up the, uh, the firebugs up here in the top right on Chrome and the same thing I mean I'll get to here but there's no line number and that I, I can't really deal with because uh, that's kind of annoying to me I, I need that line number there because it makes me work faster now uh, those of you on Windows uh, I have parallels um, so in Firefox on Windows What's cool is that um, you will get the uh, the line number when you use the the Firebug extension. So that's cool. You know, I'm back I'm back to what I expect on Firefox. But when I'm using Chrome, uh, the same situation is going to happen as happens on the Mac. I don't have any line numbers. So that's why I kind of don't use it. I stick to Firebug in, instead of Firebug Lite. Um, and I, I stick to Firefox for web development. Now, you Internet Explorer users, I mean, all of us have to develop in, in Internet Explorer. And it's kind of a pain. And there's really not a Firebug extension that I could find. But this Firebugger website, www.firebugger.com. Now, this is going to let you use Firebug. But it, it's a service. It's not really a plugin. So you have to go to firebugger.com. You know, I can put my website in. And you know, hit enter on that. What it's going to do, it's going to go to the site. It's going to bring that site in, and it's going to give me the uh, the same tools, essentially, as you would get with Firebug Lite in Chrome or in Safari. Um, so, it, you know, it's kind of annoying that you have to stop at that site first. But I guess it's better than nothing if you have uh, Explorer issues you need to debug. Now, the the button's down here in the bottom right just like in Firefox. So you can see that I've got very similar um, setup here. You know, no line numbers, of course. And it seems like I'm kind of framed in here. I'm in a frame or something. But that's fine. I mean, if, if you're having a problem in Explorer, it's good to have this, this sort of an option um, to use Firebug. I'm not sure why it can't be a plug-in, but, but uh, you know, whatever. I guess I won't complain too much about it. Now, um, I used to always use the web development extension, the web developer uh, in Firefox. Now, uh, I used to use this exclusively before I knew Firebug existed. I don't even know how I got by without it, but but uh, uh, now I, I mean, I, I'm not saying it's bad. It's a very good extension. Uh, it's still used for some things like if I just need to outline all the block level elements, just see where everything's at. That's cool. I might use it for that. Or if I need to just outline all images, I'll I'll do that see what's going on. It's kind of only thing I use that for now. But what's great about um, Firebug, as you can see, I'm mousing over these things and and you can see that you might see some purple there on the screen. And uh, that's that's my padding. You know, padding is on the inside of your box and margin is on the outside of your box. So you can see there uh, on the right side of that box there, or on the left side of that box, there's a, there's a margin, which is yellow. And um, when I mouse over this one, you can see that um, that's got margin. That's got margin on it, too. So I like to be able to see those things right off the bat. Um, and I, I really couldn't do that with Web Developer before. So, so uh, it was very, very cool to move on to Firebug. But for those of you who are still using um, 
a Windows and you don't have Text Wrangler, I did find that there is uh, this Notepad program, Notepad++, which is free, notepadplus.org. I've never used it, but hey, for free, you might as well give it a try. Uh, I put in my FTP information in Text Wrangler and I just edit right off the server. I don't know if you guys edit that way, but that's normally the way I do it. Um, and it, between that and Firebug, I usually have a pretty, pretty easy time of it. Um, what some people do is they like to mess around here over and over again on the right. What I found that happens to me is I start playing around with it and then I might move on to the next thing and play around with it and I might forget what I did or, or keep monkeying around with stuff and, and screw it up. So I normally don't play around too much here. I'll just go right back to my code and just make changes here, keep saving, jump back. It seems to work for me. Um, I'm sure other people have, have other methods. I'd like to know about those if, if you have some cool tips and tricks uh, for Firebug and editing, especially if it pertains to, uh, to WordPress and such. I just kind of wanted to give you a basic overview of what you can expect from using Firebug and kind of how I, how I go about developing and, and, and uh, you know, tweaking my site and doing things like that. So uh, for now, I hope you guys get a lot out of this. Uh, go ahead, download it, go get it, um, get it installed. Whatever browser you choose, you have some option. Even if you don't like the line numbers or you don't need them, it may not be that big of a deal to you if you prefer using Chrome, whatever. Uh, just go ahead and get it and make life easy on yourself. Trust me, it'll be a lot easier for you. <laughs> it has been for me. So uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, good luck in all your web endeavors. Thank you.